Hello and welcome back. I'm Matt and today we are taking a look at the Sony WH-CH710N. I used these for a couple days so that way I could get a good listen on how they really worked and how they sounded well so I could give you guys an honest review so you know exactly how they sound. So to start off with there is a power button that is on the side right here and then there is then there is where you plug in the USB-C to charge these and there is a headphone jack as well which this is what comes with them too and there's a small charging cable as well as a auxiliary cable 3.5 millimeter so you can plug this into your headphones if you're not able to Bluetooth with these. This does have the technology on here so you can touch it to your phone if your phone has that technology and it will Bluetooth and pair to your phone. So these have rotating earpieces on these. The first thing that I noticed with these when I picked these up is the weight of them. They are very lightweight to me, they feel a little too lightweight, and I think that is because when they went with these, they tried to make these like the flagship, the Sony WH-1000s, and because of that, they went cheaper with the make of the body, so it is an all-plastic design on here. And on the other side for the controls as well, here is the volume. You have the play button in the middle, and then you have the noise canceling button right here. The noise canceling for this is decent. I wouldn't say it is top of the line. It does work well, and it cancels out the noise. The one feature that I see that these are missing is this does not have a seek button. So I can't go forward or backwards to choose a song with these. And for a lot of people, that would definitely be a downfall because you would have to pull out your phone every single time to change a song if you don't want to listen to that song. The sound quality of these sounds really well. I like the sound of them. It has a nice crisp sound. There's not a whole lot of bass to them. These do not come with a carrying pouch. So that is another downfall with these. So you don't have a nice carrying pouch to carry these if you're traveling. The highs sound really well for the sound too. The battery life for these is gonna be around 35 hours. I charged them one time. I've been using them for a couple days, several hours here and there, and I haven't had to recharge them yet. It does have an adjustable band on here so you can fully adjust it. As far as the comfort when you are wearing these, I noticed on the front of my cheeks, this portion right here in the front was kind of snug and I thought it was going to be very uncomfortable at first, but after wearing it a while, it wasn't too bad and maybe over time, I might get a little bit of a headache, but I am sensitive to some headphones. So for me, not all the comfort was there. These do have a hands-free calling feature, so you can make voice calls with these with your smartphone. So overall, I would say these are decent headphones. I have some other Sony headphones that are a little more heavy duty. They're not the WH-1000s. I have the Sony MDR XB950N1. And these are the super bass headphones from Sony. And these have a little bit more weight to them, in my opinion. And the sound quality is just as good as these. And it has more bass to it. There's not as much highs, but it is comparable to these. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video and I hope this helped.